Welcome to European Railway issue number 54, the DVD magazine for the continental enthusiast. In this programme, we call in on the French high speed line to the northwest of Dijon. A study of diesel traction around the German town of Muldorf, including class 77s on freight and class 218s on passenger. We look at action on the Matterhorn Gotthard Bahn in Switzerland. A visit is made to neighbouring Austria as we look at the single track cross border line south of Ebenfurt. Polish diesels are seen at work on a double track line close to the town of Nisa. Two locations are studied around the French capital Paris, the first looking at class BV 17,000s at work near Cré, and the second a study of mainline action to the southeast on the route to La roche migienne We call into Antwerpen to witness diesels and electrics at work on the main freight line out of the docks, including a last look at the Class 20 electrics in action. And finally, a detailed study of a busy German main line running to the south of Bipra. We begin in the central part of France, just to the northwest of Dijon, on the TGV high speed line linking Paris with Lyon and southwards towards Marseille and Nîmes. Our filming location is just to the north of the small village of Dompierre et Morvan, on a convenient and quiet road overbridge. Approaching the camera on the 25th of June 2013 is TGV duplex set number 280. These train sets dominate workings on this route. Virtually identical are the TGV Dassy train sets, such as this pair seen here. We now travel to Germany and to the Bavarian town of Mühldorf, which is situated on non-electrified lines in the southeast of the country and to the north of Salzburg. A number of locations outside of the town were chosen, one to the south and the remainder to the west, along the single track line that runs towards München. We begin to the south of Mühldorf at the small town of Tuschling, where the line to Borghausen diverges from the southern route down to Freilassing and onwards towards Salzburg. We chose four locations around the town and it is at the main station that we witness class 218 diesel, number 218465, 
powering the 1206 from Salzburg to Landshut on Thursday the 4th of July 2013. Arriving from the north is class 628 diesel unit number 433 on the 1236 from Mulldorf to Borchhausen. This is one of the hourly passenger trains that can be seen on the branch down to Borchhausen. As can be seen, the station still has semaphore signals, which are controlled by two boxes situated to the north and south ends of the station. The northern box can be seen in the far distance. The route to Borkhausen sees a good deal of freight activity, with lines serving the large chemical park at Gendorf, as well as the OMV oil refinery at Borkhausen. The class 77s are known as class 247 in Germany and here we see number 247060 arriving with what we believe is the 1217 from Kastel to Mulldorf. The train conveys empty waste containers from the ZAS incinerator plant at Borgkirchen. The camera position now moves to the northern end of the station loops as 247056 and 247049 on the rear arrive with the 1147 from Mulldorf to the Wackerwerks at Borghausen.
We now move to the Muldorf Munchen line, just to the west of Weidenbach. At the beginning, we move between filming locations 1 and 2 before travelling west to the station at Schwindeg. Numbers 218444 and 218418 round the curve just west of Wiedenbach, whilst powering the 1536 from Muldorf to Munchen. The same train is seen at our second filming location. In the opposite direction comes 218356 at the head of the 1505 from Munchen to Muldorf. This was followed by 218437 on the 1522 service to Zimbach. This is the station building at Schwindeg. The open door leads into a room that houses the signalling apparatus. Counterbalances can be seen over the far track. It is only during the morning and evening peaks that trains are worked by the Class 218 diesels. The rest of the time Class 628 DMUs operate most of the services. Forming the 1543 from Zimbach, are unit numbers 628628 and 628639. 